eyes will have a monumental um, impact on the community, their access to high quality facilities, our ability to, to tailor to all sorts of uh, cricketers, whether that be the experienced cricketers, the, the, the local clubs, cricketers that want to come and use our facilities um, and people that we want to introduce to the game. You know, what we're trying to do is make, uh, make sure that cricket is as inclusive as possible, is accessible to, to all, regardless of where they live, the backgrounds that they come from. And ultimately, it's down to one thing, and that is, uh, that is talent. And if young people have got the talent, we want to nurture that. We want to ensure that they've got every opportunity to be the very best that they can be. It's been a, a brilliant team effort. So many people involved in this project to get it to get it underway. It's a great day really for, for cricket in Hampshire. In particular, some of the projects that we've done, we've obviously been running for a couple of years. We've now reached out with the support of Brighton Hill Community School uh, and the staff here, and it's, um, it's fantastic to see it going. I think there's four different schools represented from Basingstoke here today for the first session. So yeah, great day. So it's just the lifeblood of the future of English cricket. The, the more young people are playing, the more young people get the opportunity to come and practice their, their skills and their love. And, and, and sort of grow their passion for the game uh, is very, very important. The coaching bit is very important, probably the most important part of it. You can be taught well or taught badly. If you get good coaches like we've got here at Hampshire with Charlie and the, and the team that they've got, um, it, it, it's, it's a special thing to be involved in when you've got the best coaches you possibly can to teach you the best things to perform at your, your peak and, enjoy, and most importantly enjoy the game.